So what I'm going to show you now is how to lay out for the uh, diagonal braces. They're also known as knee braces. Um, <clears throat> in your lab manual, I believe there may be a dimension listed as 30 inches um, from which would be the longest side of this diagonal brace. But we're actually going to do it at 36. We're going to adapt the plan just a little bit. Um, so we're going to go to a 36 inch long diagonal brace. So what we're going to do to lay this out is everything that we're laying out is all going to be working off of 45 degrees. Okay. So our speed square, when you line it up on one edge, this is a 45 degree angle. So what I did here first was I'm going to mark the end of where I want one of my tenons. So then this way I'm getting the most out of the piece of material and I'm you know working around this jagged end. Um, so I'm going to strike my first angle. I'm going to also use my combination square. This tenon is going to be three inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mark here where I want the cheek to be. I'm just going to go ahead and strike a line. Okay. So now what I want to do is this is going to be the long side back here uh, of my um, diagonal brace. So what I want to do is the tenons for these come right off of this point. So all I need to do now is take my speed square and mark it right here. So this goes away and this is the bottom of my tenon. My tenon is going to be four inches wide. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to take my speed square again mark it here. So now all of this material goes away and I'm left with my 45 degree angle and this will be the tenon coming off the end of it. What I'm going to now do is I'm going to transfer these lines um, all the way around again. Like all of our other members you always want to transfer lines around. So now there's my cheek. There's my tenon on the other side. All this material goes away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then we'll take a couple steps back here so you can see. I'm then going to pull a tape measure from this side. So this is the long side. We rolled the timber. This is the long side. Line up the end of my tape measure there. Like I said, we've changed it to 36 inches long, so I'm going to make a mark at 36. And I'll repeat the whole layout process again. We need two of these for each bent, so right next to it, I've got another timber sitting there. You really can't see on the camera, but it's all marked out for two diagonal braces. So I'm going to go ahead, just like our other members, I'm going to use a combination of the circular saw and a hand saw to make these cuts. I'm going to shape and form the tenons with a chisel, uh, and I'm going to use a circular saw to make bread cuts, and then I'll uh, go ahead and shape the tenons. I'm going to start making some cuts, um, and then we'll come back so you guys can see part way through.